what's going on guys I've got my Puss in Boots deck profile here for you today uh, like I said just now this is a deck tech for Puss in Boots uh, the adorable musketeer character uh, I have only seen him in Shrek uh, I don't know if I remember him from anything else as a kid uh, but I definitely remember him from Shrek uh, when you J activate him he turns into uh, Demarinitarian the Bayonetter uh, he has Pierce target attack and for each Musketeer you control, he gets plus four, plus four. Uh, he's really good as a just beater if you can get him to flip for free. Uh, he normally costs nine, but if you control one of each of the Musketeers, uh, it reduces it by three each. Uh, and then you also pay one less to play Musketeer Resonators. So, really good. I think he's very underrated. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do with him. Uh, but for now, this is what I've got. Uh, we're playing green, so we're going to be playing 4 Elvish Priest and 4 Gretel. Uh, if you're playing green, I think you should be playing 4 of each of these. Uh, maybe 3 Gretel, uh, but you should definitely play these in some number. Um, with this deck, all the magic stones are green, uh, so you cannot miss with Gretel. Uh, next off, we got 4 Cheshire Cat. A uh, really good draw engine of the deck. Uh, you can use Voice of the False God to sacrifice or shuffle her back into the deck and then draw 2 cards. Um, but being able to draw too early and then just return a card if you think they're playing Spiral or Pandora to the top of your deck is really good. Uh, and you, if you can also return a card you do not want to see right at that point, uh, you can also find a way to block with her um, and then shuffle your deck. Uh, kind of like in Magic how if you um, brainstorm and then you crack a fetch land, uh, you get that free shuffle. And I just drop all the cards. Uh, next off we got four Athos. Uh, when he comes into play, you get to search your deck for a addition resignator uh, and add it to your hand. Since the resigna since the J ruler is put some boots, you get to put it onto him instead. Uh, for this guy, uh, basically, if you play Magic, he is kind of like Burning Tree emissary. Uh, since we have put some boots, we will be playing him for two mana. So when he comes into play, you'll get to get one mana and then you'll play the next one. You'll have two, then three, and then four, and so on. Uh, really good card if you can chain them. Uh, extremely strong. Uh, and if you can get him with Pumpkin Witch, it's really good. Uh, Porthos, 7-5 uh, Pierce. Uh, we're only really playing him because of the Puss and Boots flip uh, and things that you can do with him. Uh, one Pumpkin Witch. I'm uh, probably going to up this to two because uh, once she comes into play, everything gets flying in swiftness. Uh, so it's really good. Uh, two Cinderella, the Ashen Maiden. Uh, she can be a board wipe in her own, especially against mono red decks and uh, Wizard of Oz or Yellow Brick Road or whatever it's being called. Uh, but for two black, she comes into play as a 4 4. Uh, if you have the slipper, she can become a 1000 1000. Uh, and you can sacrifice any Resignator or herself to deal 200 damage to your opponent's board. Uh, one of this guy. Uh, he's really good. He has an intro ability of searching your. Magic Stone deck for a any stone and putting it on top, uh, and then he can also tap to give another Resonator or himself uh, 400 attack, zero defense. Uh, so a lot of the times I just go draw step 400, untap in the recovery, and then I'll give it another 400. Uh, he's really good, uh, big body uh, for three mana. Can't really pass it up. I probably want another one of those. Four Law of Silence. Uh, two mana, they can't play the game, you can, enough said. Uh, three Absolute Cake Zone, counter spell, if you control Gretel, draw a card. Uh, chance of the Gretel's going to die before you get before this card's ever played, but it's really good if you have it. Uh, two Dream of Druliet. Uh, this is more for the, want to say, meta locally. Uh, these would probably be Necronomicons in... Uh, a bigger competitive event uh, or uh, two feasting. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but with all the Necronomicons here locally, it's just better just to just get rid of it. Three Witches Dagger for Athos to search out. Uh, for two blue and a two colors, you can tap the creature that this is with uh, to destroy target resonator, or you can just banish the, res the creature that you control with this on it and draw three cards. Uh, two Slippers of Cinderella. Uh, gives a creature plus, uh, minus four, minus four for one. Uh, or if you can just 
throw it onto Cinderella or something else that has a printed attack of 4-4. Four, four. Uh, really good card. I don't know why I've stopped playing this recently, but this card is insane. And one Voice of the False God to sacrifice Cheshire Cats or anything else to draw two cards. Uh, to sacrifice Gretel, and I haven't really read the Musketeers completely to see if they are human. I believe they are. It would make sense. Uh, they are not. They are fairy tale musketeers. So, it doesn't work on them, but if you can sacrifice a Gretel, you can draw three cards. Uh, or you can just sacrifice Cheshire Cat, shuffle, and draw two. Uh, that's all that re That's all that for the main deck. Uh, the Magic Stone deck is four Magic Stone of Deep Wood, four Magic Stone of Black Silence, and two Magic Stone of Gusting Skies. Uh, really good Magic Stone deck. Uh, fixture of colors really well. All your cards are mostly green. Some are very few are blue and even fewer are black. Uh, so it's, where it's mostly green, you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, outside of Cheshire Cat and Voice of the False God, Cinderella and her slippers, and Pumpkin Witch, you don't really have to worry about your colors, uh, and Gretel's just going to accelerate them anyway. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment down below with any suggestions. Uh, there's not really, I don't think I put any NPR. No, there's not any of Moon Priestess Returns in this deck. Uh, I don't think it actually needs it, and other than Feath Sing maybe. Uh, but other than that, leave a comment down below. Give me some suggestions. Uh, PM me if you feel like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to do a contest as soon as I hit 100 subscribers. Uh, so that shouldn't be too long. I'm already at 53 last I check when this video goes up. Uh, but be on the lookout for that. And I also made the Twitter and the Facebook page for my channel. Uh, so I'll leave a comment in the description below. I might put the link over here somewhere. I haven't decided. Uh, but just go ahead and check those out uh, and be on the lookout for that contest. Alright, see you.